Hello, hello, good morning. My name is Ruth Ade, you know, and as we know, last time I was home with Tokyo, you know, facilitated you on the training about um, how to give and receive constructive criticisms. I would like us to introduce ourselves. Like I said earlier, I am Ruth Adeyina, and I would like us as well to also introduce ourselves like we did at the last training. You know, this is going to foster, um, you know, communication and all that. As this training goes on, we'll be able to discuss and talk to one another. And I'll be able to also call you by names to, you know, to know you more. Okay, let's go ahead from you. Thank you, Richard. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Welcome to this training. Steph. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to this training. Hey, Brad, go ahead. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to today's training, guys. Welcome to today's training. And I really hope that um, we are going to learn a thing or two. I mean, in our last training session, I talked about quite a number of things. And I want to know who remembers one or two things I talked about in our last training session. Anybody, guys, anybody, anybody. Okay, Steph, go ahead. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for that insight. Okay, Brad, you want to go too? Thank you, thank you. You learned how to, you know, give constructive criticisms. I mean, have you been learning it? I mean, have you been um, practicalizing it since then? Okay, I'm going to test you on that very soon. <laughs> okay, Richard, you want to go as well, okay? Okay, you learned how to receive constructive criticisms. That is good. That is good. And I think that um, to some extent, probably we didn't really go in depth, but to some extent you've been able to, you know, inculcate what you have learned at work and all that. And we're going to be doing an exercise on that very soon. Okay, so let's talk about the learning outcomes for today's um, training session, guys. Um, so um, at the end of today's training, you must be able to recognize when um, constructive criticisms is being given to you right you must be able to know when you're being criticized constructively um, versus when you're just you know being given a criticism and you feel really bad about it and all that so um you must also be able to interpret the criticism as being constructive or not constructive do you understand what i mean like you must be able to also um interpret i mean when people give it you are like mm, he didn't you know he didn't come off at me as being rude or being bossy or whatever is just trying to you know put me in check and see that i am doing the right thing um okay trainees must also know when to give constructive criticism okay so you just you don't just go on all situations and just give criticisms you must be able to know when how at the right time what time and you know at what moment you know what this person is saying is it just saying it to me or is giving me constructive criticisms that is what um, we're saying in today's um, training and we'll also be able to know what actions to take if we are being criticized if you are being criticized you must also be able to know what actions to take what things to do how to go about it right you um, must be able to transfer the skills on the job which is the most important thing I mean at the end of this training session which is you know probably the last session we're gonna be having on this particular topic for now right while we see how you guys work on this in your workplace you know on the job and all that you know so I want to see how you are able you know to transfer the skills to the job place when you get back to work right awesome guys awesome so I want to ensure that we did not forget the introductory aspect of this um, of this topic that we had in the last training session right so what did you remember from the last training session what did you remember from the last what is the definition of constructive criticism um since then have you, have you given any criticisms to anybody that you know that went sideways or that went some way or that went well you know since the last um whatever we're going to be getting into all that pretty pretty soon okay well now i want us to go into today's training right to ensure we want to make this meaningful and want to make it understandable as much as possible for everybody you know so that by the time this training session is over you are able to um use the skills on the job like we said earlier okay um 
So what is the major challenges you have had on the job as managers? I'm imagining that this constructive criticism um, training is for managers basically. So um, that is why I'm going to go the manager's way because most times it's the bosses and the sub and the and the superiors that do that does you know the criticism most times. So that is the reason why I am asking this this um, particular question. Okay, so so what major challenges have you had on the job as managers when you give criticisms? Um, let's hear us out. We are all managers, we are all bosses, we are all, you know, we are all directing and guiding and leading people in the workplace. So let me hear what your experiences are from um, giving criticisms in the workplace. Let me hear you. Let's hear us out. Anybody, 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 anybody. Okay, go ahead. Let's hear you out. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, sometimes people feel um they are not they are not being appreciated enough when you give criticism so they are like mm, that's not for me i mean and then sometimes they, sometimes the people want to talk back right sometimes they talk back at you and you feel that oh your authority is being questioned right yes that is so true that is so true thank you so much for that thank you so much for that brian um go ahead steph yeah i mean thank you for that insight as well sometimes people feel that um you are you are you know, you are trying to load your opinion over them. You are trying to tell them what to do. You are trying to force your opinion down their throats, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for those insights. Sometimes people feel intimidated kind of when you give criticism. However, as we as managers, we will not stop, you know, doing that at some point, at one time or the other in the workplace. So therefore, you want to ensure that when you give it, when you receive it, when you perceive that this person didn't get the message, um, you know, the way you want them to get it, then you are able to kind of tweak the whole situation, you know, to, to make sense to them, right? Exactly, exactly. So um, I also want to, right now, we're going, going into our activity one. You will tell the class about one time you have had to give criticisms to an employee that ended badly because of delivery was wrong and do not forget we are not judging anybody here we are just trying to understand right the concept of constructive criticism let anybody let um you know share their thoughts or their experiences when they gave um a constructive criticism that is not so that probably didn't end up well anybody so i could go first let me go first now um some time ago some years back i mean i was working in a in an um, event planning firm right and we had this whole business going on we had things to do you know and all that but some people were slacking behind on the job and i felt that it was right for me you know to kind of correct them you know let's do these things this way let's do things that down i mean this is the right and appropriate way to go about this particular thing however when i gave the you know criticism i told them you know i already shared with them how well they did and how well they have been doing in the workplace and how we've been able to achieve some certain goals however i feel that um you know some things need to be fixed you know properly so that we can be more efficient in the workplace and all that and they went ballistic and me you know everybody started airing their views sharing their opinion and saying all sort of things and the, the meeting suddenly went from zero to 100 within a matter of seconds and I was like, what happened with that criticism, right? I was lost for a second. And I found out that probably they didn't feel um, appreciated enough. You know, they feel that they are putting their best into the work. And this is not, this is, this is not something that, you know, we found wanting most times in employees when you, um, when you want to, you know, pass inform such information across to them so now let us go ahead and i'll give you one or two minutes to think about scenarios in your head and come up with um ideas of when you give criticism that it didn't go smoothly in your workplace or wherever you made yourself okay guys um one minute one minute 30 seconds 30 seconds now we're ready to go we're ready to go awesome go ahead brad let's hear you out that is so true that is that is so true 
sometimes we are you know we are all over the place <laughs> and if and if and the subordinate feels that we know more than this person so what do they mean right they feel that they, they are more knowledgeable on the job than you are sometimes that happens yeah let's go brad um richard yeah sorry richard awesome awesome that is so true so i mean sometimes people feel that um they are not being listened to right like what about my own opinion what about how i feel right so uh we we, we don't just want the criticism to be one-sided because the other party is going to feel like you are not you know listening to them as much as possible so thank you so much guys thank you so much um i'm going to um once again brief us on what constructive is and what criticism is constructive is when you are when you're being diplomatic right about something when you're not you know, you're not going directly to say oh you did that that wasn't good you know you made a flop at that meeting that wasn't nice right you just made a disgrace of yourself out there you know you don't want to come off to people that way you know i mean that was i mean that was a good presentation but you would have been able to to present that in a better manner that is constructive okay that is you being diplomatic you finding a way around it that the person that the receiver doesn't feel oh not again right awesome guys awesome so um now we are going to move into strategies to receiving criticism what are the strategies to receiving crit as a boss sometimes we think that oh because we are the boss around here right <laughs> i know we think that we're the boss around here so nobody can tell you what to do nobody can um can direct you you know on what you should do or how you should do it or what you should say and what you should not say i know i know that feeling how many of us know that feeling <laughs> thank you so much guys uh but however when you are being criticized as a boss or as a colleague in the workplace you know as a friend how do you react the first thing be open to listen right be open to listen um look past your initial reaction look past what you think about the person be, even if you have had issues with the person before it is important that you look past that you know whatsoever issue that you had with them in the past and let's look forward let us find a way to make this work right that is um looking past your initial reaction acknowledge and say thank you it is important to say thank you oh Thank you for pointing that uh, point out to me. Thank you for pointing that out to me. I th I'll make a correction next time, right? Thank you for letting me know about that, you know? It might be hard, but could save you from, from some pitfall, right? You don't want to go flopping the next time. I mean, if it's just an indoor thing, it's, it's okay. But if you do the same thing outside your organization, it could be looking like you are not professional, right? So it is important that you, you know, you say thank you ask clarifying questions i mean did you say that i would have done it better how else did you feel that i would have done this better you know um what did you think that was about do you think that i would have been able to you know bring out more skills and shown and said some more um convincing things at that meeting or how did you think i would have done that better i mean when you ask those kind of clarifying questions it makes you understand that this person right is not just trying to throw jabs at me and insult me or insult my intelligence i understand that we as managers we are like mm, i'm the boss around here whatever i say is what happens you know that sometimes we are wrong too and we need people to you know set us straight and tell us oh what you're doing that way is wrong and this is right um so another thing is that um consider how this might be true think about take a you know take a chill pill sit down step back and reason mm, how am i feeling you know could this really be true about you know what this person is saying did i actually act in that manner did i actually say something like that would i have actually been able to do this better right so you can you can also you know sit down relax and think about it and how you, it would have been done better compare what you think you did versus how do you think you did it okay so you see them when you're sitting, sitting down thinking about it compare how you think that you would have done it better and how this person feels that i mean how you how you think you did it and how this person correcting you or giving you this criticism feels that you would have been able to do to do it better right be able to learn and grow from it 
there is no man is an island and we all you know should at one point or the other know that learning is a, is a is a continuous process okay so nobody is that perfect or that good or you know whatever and then thinking that you are you are um you are past correction stage that is not true right distinguish um between useful criticism and useless criticism so sometimes when people say something they get like does that even matter right so you should be able to distinguish between the both of them okay guys um at the end of it all whether you're giving whether you're receiving criticisms do not forget that we are, we are all humans at right we are all humans in our lives and, and it is human nature to give criticisms okay so don't say oh that is my business you, you are all up in my business no don't do that because it is we are humans and it is human nature that it is human nature that we give you know criticisms to others and criticize observe other people's behaviors um as well right if you have this mindset you will not be you will not let people um you will not you will not let what people say right or correct you about be you know ups, upset you or feel sad about right awesome so right now i'm going to be giving us another activity i will pair um so i will pair you with each other and having groups of two what you would be doing now is a role play right how many of us love role play role plays yeah this would enable you to understand the strategies we have discussed up there you would come up with an idea of issue in the workplace that could call for chastisement criticisms right it could be performance management it could be project presentation or lateness and tardiness in the workplace you can pick any of these options or come up with other options to you know on how to give criticisms to the said defaulter applying all that we have discussed in this training session today okay guys let us go i'm going to be pairing you in twos and um yeah so um brad and steph both of you you are one team right richard and brian both of you are another team okay so let us um take 10 minutes and come up with a role play and i will act this out and i will you know the situation and the scenarios that i want to paint and the things that i want to do right let us get down to that in a second so um and what i asked them what i've asked them to do in this activity is that they come up with a, a, a role play by right? using different scenarios some issues that work performance management um tardiness lateness and all the all and all those things like that you know that could actually call for constructive criticisms in the workplace and when they do this this will make them you know understand the the, the rudiments to giving criticism how to go about it what to do what to say and uh, you know how to say it most importantly so that is the um activity that i have just given them awesome guys so um five more minutes for this activity five more minutes for this activity five more minutes five more minutes for this activity okay okay guys i see us well i mean we're working it out we're working it out i see that we are all working this out this is making sense isn't it awesome you guys are having so much fun right there <laughs> however we have two more minutes guys two more minutes two more minutes let's do this <laughs> okay and no we're not fighting bring down your voices let the tone of your voice let the tone of your of your voices let, let it be soothing to the person that is listening to your criticism right okay so let's yeah let's do that let's do that okay awesome awesome thank you so much now who wants to go first in our um i mean to share their role plays with the class and you you have the floor you have the ground you can go ahead you know to share your opinion and what you think that this should be actually okay <laughs> awesome awesome thank you so much brad and steph for being the first people to come up right now, right? Cool, nice, nice, nice. Now, you, you, 
You see how that works, that now we are making use of those things up there. One person is the receiver, one person is the giver, the other person changes and is the receiver and the other person is the giver. So therefore, we are both we are on, the, on, on both learning sides, you know, of the coin. So it is important that, you know, we take this into consideration. I, I see that we have, um, we have learned pretty much one or two things that are important for us in this, um, in this, training session today thank you so much guys for coming for today's training session it's been worth the while lecturing you i mean teaching you having this conversation with you and i see the way you people are you know coming up with these things i hope that you'll be able to transfer this skill to your workplace on the long run because this is short-term and long-term goals it is not just for today it is not for just the next for the it is not just for the next three months this is something that when you do often it becomes part and parcel of you in the workplace now i'm going to be um asking you if anybody has any questions or suggestions or contribution to all we have learned in this training session any suggestions contribution questions okay yes yes okay that's true that's true we should listen before we give um when we are being given criticism that is so true that is so true right yeah i mean what you're saying makes a lot of sense if we do not know how to give it receiving it might be a problem as well right thank you so much for letting the class know that thank you thank you so much for your contributions and i'm so glad that you all came in um for this training session today how do you guys feel after this do you feel um do you did you have fun let me know did you have fun did you have fun with especially with the role play i saw you guys um went went ahead with it and you know you had so much fun on that um activity now um right before we leave this training session today i am going to be giving out i'm going to be giving out this um training feedback forms that you guys may fill it out for me before you leave right because once we leave this place everybody is back to work right thank you so much so you're gonna fill this out um for me before you leave today and i'm just gonna um go through let me know what you think about this training and i mean there is no harm say whatever you feel say your mind i mean express yourself if you have other comments but just write it below and let's know i'm gonna give you five minutes for that while we just before we close off this um session for today thank you so much guys thank you so much guys thank you so much for that um yeah thank you so much it was nice meeting and knowing you guys and i would like that you know if you have more questions you can ask me you can send me an email or send you know or or, or yeah or call my office that is my number and my email up there you can ask questions if you need anything or you know managerial issue training or whatever you can always reach out to me at any time so whatsoever thank you so much for attending this training and i hope to see you guys some other time on another topic when we have another training session have an amazing 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 wonderful rest of the day bye yeah thank you so much